Welcome to the 12th lecture on digital simulation. In this video, we will see some of the basics of transient simulation. In the previous lectures, uh, we studied how to analyze a linear circuit excited with a DC source. And in order to do the DC analysis of a linear circuit, uh, we can use either modified nodal analysis or sparse tableau approach. In both the methods, we have to solve a system of linear equations of the form ax equal to b so the dc analysis of a linear circuit is nothing but uh, solving a system of uh, linear equations and we also saw that if we have nonlinear elements in the dc circuit if we have a nonlinear dc circuit for example a dc circuit involving a diode uh, then we have nonlinear system of equations and we can use newton raphson method an iterative procedure to solve the system of equations so in both these cases, in, uh, in a linear DC circuit or in a non-linear DC circuit, uh, there are no time varying elements. But in some of the practical cases, we will be interested in plotting the voltage variations or current variations with the time. We will be interested in uh, observing the variations in voltage or current with the time. So such analysis comes under transient simulation. So one simple example is shown here. If we have a DC source connected in series with a resistance and a capacitance, then if we are interested in calculating the voltage across a capacitor, then from the circuit theory basics, we know that the voltage across a capacitor, say VC of T, uh, will be like this. As time progresses, uh, if suppose the initial voltage, initial charge in the capacitor was zero, so the voltage will uh, rise from zero, then it will exponentially rise towards the uh, DC source value Vs. At each instant of time, we have uh, a value for the capacitance voltage. So if you uh, take two instants in time, say T begin and T end, then we have infinitely many values in between these. Uh, to extreme points or in this interval we have infinitely many values for the uh, capacitance voltage VCFT. So a computer cannot uh, handle such infinite number of points. So we have to discretize this interval into finite number of points. So discretization of time is necessary to solve a transient simulation problem. Uh, since a computer can solve only equations in, in a finite number of points. It cannot handle uh, the infinite number of points between T begin and T end. So what we have to do is uh, take this interval T begin and T end, divide it into uh, subdivisions, take uh, points in between say this this point the starting point is denoted as t0 then the next point will be at time t1 then t, at t2 you will take another point t3 like that we can go up to say t n n points sorry n plus 1 points from t0 to tn okay so this uh, difference between uh, these to subsequent uh, points the uh, this in interval is known as step size or time step time step so we will be solving the system at each of these uh, time steps then uh, we can draw a smooth curve through this uh, points so we will see uh, we will review different types of um, the numerical techniques that can be used to solve uh, such a transient simulation problem so one uh, example is shown here suppose we want to solve a uh, differential equation of the form dx by dt equal to f of xt with an initial condition x of t0 equal to x0 so at time equal to t0 the value of x is x0 so there are uh, three popular techniques to solve this uh, this problem. One is backward Euler, another one is forward Euler, and trapezoidal method. So 
suppose uh, at t n uh, the value of the variable x is say x n and at t n plus 1 the value is x n plus 1 and this is our uh, time step this interval is time step delta t n this difference is delta t n t n plus 1 minus t n is defined as delta t n it is also uh, denoted as h so if you join uh, these two points and if you form a straight line uh, joining these two points then the slope of that uh, straight line will be nothing but uh, difference between the y coordinates divided by this time step so difference between these y coordinates this height difference is xn plus 1 minus xn so that is written here xn plus 1 minus xn is the difference between the y coordinates then this uh, difference between the x coordinates is tn plus 1 minus tn that is nothing but delta tn so the this quantity is nothing but slope of this straight line and in forward Euler method we will equate this uh, slope with uh, uh, the slope evaluated at tn because the equation was dx by dt is equal to f of x comma t so dx by dt is nothing but uh, slope of this uh, curve x with respect to time so slope of the graph at time uh, tn is nothing but dx by dt evaluated at tn so dx by dt evaluated at tn is nothing but f of x and tn so dx by dt evaluated at tn is f of x and t so xn plus 1 minus xn divided by delta tn will be f of x and tn in the case of forward Euler method so if you do some uh, if you cross multiply with this delta tn this equation will become xn plus 1 minus xn equal to f of xn tn into delta tn then xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus f of xn comma tn into delta t so this is uh, the equation for calculating the n plus 1 to point so if we have if we will start from the initial guess x0 um, it is known that x of t0 is x0 so we can calculate x1 x1 is nothing but x0 plus f of x0 t0 into delta t0 f of x0 t0 into delta t0 this delta t time step is a constant so we can denote it as x so x1 is nothing but x0 plus f of x0 t0 into h then the next point x2 can be calculated from x1 x1 into f of x1 t1 into h like that we can proceed so we will reach uh, t end in the case of backward Euler the slope of this straight line xn plus 1 minus xn divided by delta tn will be equated with the slope evaluated from the curve at tn plus 1 instead so we have at tn the value of uh, x is xn then at tn plus 1 the value of x is xn plus 1 so the straight line joining these two points has a slope xn plus 1 minus xn divided by x or delta tn and in backward Euler technique we will equate this slope with a slope evaluated by uh, drawing a tangent at t n plus 1 so suppose the graph of x is something like this then uh, we will evaluate the slope at t n plus 1 and that slope is equated with this value x n plus 1 minus x n by s so slope at t n plus 1 is nothing but dx by dt evaluated at t n plus 1 so from the first equation we know that dx by dt is nothing but f of x comma t so dx by dt evaluated at t n plus 1 is f of x n plus 1 comma t n plus 1 so if you cross multiply by delta t n this equation will become x n plus 1 minus x n is equal to f of x n plus 1 into t n f of x n plus 1 comma t n plus 1 multiplied by this delta t so bring this minus xn to the right hand side so you will get this equation so this is the 
uh, equation used for calculating the n plus one the point in backward order using the nth point. So here you can see one interesting thing on the right hand side uh, this xn plus one is appearing. So this is also known as an implicit method. We will see the details later. Then in the case of trapezoidal technique, uh, we will equate the this quantity xn plus one minus xn by delta n. We will equate the slope of that straight line with the average of the slopes evaluated at tn and tn plus one. So slope evaluated at uh, tn is dx by dt at t equal to tn. Slope evaluated at tn plus one is dx by dt at t equal to tn plus one. Then half of this. So average of this slope is equated to this quantity. So from that we will get the final expression for xn plus one. Xn plus one is nothing but xn plus delta t by two, delta tn by two into f of xn tn plus f of xn plus one comma tn plus one. So I will give an example to familiarize these equations. Suppose we have to solve this. Uh, differential equation dx by dt equal to minus x with an initial condition x of 0 equal to 1. So you can analytically solve this equation and the solution will be x of t is equal to e raised to minus t. You can check this. And now we will see how to solve this numerically using the three techniques that we just saw. So in the case of forward Euler, the formula is xn plus 1 minus xn by h is equal to the slope at tn that is f of xn comma tn so slope of uh, function evaluated at um, uh, tn is dx by dt at tn dx by dt is nothing but minus x in this condition in this case so my dx by dt evaluated at tn is minus xn so this is minus xn so now we can uh, cross multiply and you will get this xn plus 1 is equal to xn into 1 minus h. So this is the equation for calculating the n plus 1 the point from the nth point using backward Euler technique. In the case, sorry, forward Euler technique. In the case of backward Euler, uh, the right hand side changes. It, the slope has to be evaluated at the n plus 1 the point. So it becomes dx by dt at the t equal to tn plus 1. So that is nothing but minus xn plus 1 in our example because dx by dt is minus x. So dx by dt evaluated at tn plus 1 is minus xn plus 1. So if we do some rearrangement, we will get this equation. xn is equal to xn plus 1 into 1 plus delta tn or xn plus 1 is equal to xn by 1 plus h. So in the backward Euler, we will get this equation. And in trapezoidal technique, the slope of the straight line is equal to half of the sum of the slopes or average of the slopes at the tn and the tn plus 1. So if you do, uh, if you expand this equation and uh, do rearrangements, we will get xn plus 1 is equal to xn into 1 minus h by 2 into 1 plus h by 2. So we can summarize xn plus 1 is equal to xn into 1 minus h in the case of forward Euler for solving dx by dt equal to minus x. It's applicable just for this problem with x of 0 equal to 1. Then xn plus 1 is equal to xn by 1 plus h in the case of backward over And in the case of trapezoidal rule, what we got was xn plus 1 is equal to xn into 1 minus h by 2 by 1 plus h by 2 in the case of trapezoidal rule. So this is just a review of the three methods. Uh, we will go through these methods in detail in the next video. Thank you.